there were instances that I, I wanted to kill myself. There were more instances of meeting some teachers. You mentioned about the body suffers a lot. And I honestly suffered a lot with managing myself physically. In the last two years, I've tried to bring myself back into the world and probably giving up on the search, let's be normal. That has also not resulted in joy, it's been like... Well, Mohit, you know, there are those people, they go to temples, they worship the gods, they're happy like that. They do their thing, they have their family life, they do their pujas, they do their yagnas, and they, they live like that. There are those who don't do that either. And then there are those who are, who are fundamentally made for self-knowledge, self-realization. You are one of those characters. You won't have joy in your life unless you learn to do this bending and to take up that spiritual journey consciously. You have to take it up consciously. It doesn't mean sometimes just listening here and there. It has to be a dedicated, disciplined approach. Otherwise, you'll stay like this, which is fine. If you want to stay that way, then that's your choice. Or you have to take up a dedicated, focused... I mean, you're actually a spiritual seeker, but you don't behave like one. Yeah. Behave, what do you mean to behave like one? You don't take up an approach with discipline. You think that just by sort of cobbling your life together with different episodes that it's just going to work out. It doesn't work out that way. There is no joyousness that way. Otherwise, everybody would be nice and joyous. If you want to experience that lightness of being and that joy every day, you have to take up your spiritual sadhana, your practice. It's not the same for everybody. Each one has a different path. There are many paths that lead to the truth. Sanatanis know that there are many paths that lead to the truth. This is not the only way. But you have to take up some way, and you have not done that.